Hi guys, welcome to another Analog Partner Spotlight. Today we are going to speak with Nati from Talisman. She is the marketing growth manager. So hello, welcome Hi, to the Jamie. show. So first of all, can you briefly introduce yourself and your project? Uh, sure, yeah. Um, thank you for having me. Uh, my name is Nati. I currently work in as a marketing growth manager at Talisman. Talisman is a wallet. It's a um, sleek and stylish wallet with the most beautiful UI in the market. Um, we support over 180 EVM and substrate-based blockchains from Ethereum to entire Polkadot ecosystem. And as we like to say that Talisman is very um, simple for beginners and powerful for pros. That's a little bit about me. It's amazing. Currently, like we've partnered with Talisman for a while, but we just want to get some insights on the latest de developments and updates from Talisman for the community. Um, yeah, we, we had a lot going on in Talisman. Um, I think the latest, biggest development we had is was the launch of Talisman Quest, which we, Analog and Talisman, partner up. Uh, it's a like gamified uh, immersive application, which allows you to explore Web3 with Talisman Wallet in a very fun and rewarding way with our own points program. Also, we like working on a lot of new features uh, for our users, which we will definitely enjoy. Like, for example, right now we have a full NFT support for all major uh, EVM chains, all directly in extension. So everything is in one place. You don't have to jump into different accounts. You can literally keep everything in one place. Uh, we also added in a lot of new staking assets and um, we also hit some milestones in terms of like dot stake it stake in our nomination pool, which is equal today, like eight, eight and three million dot in nomination pool, which is almost like 50% of the market. So which means like a lot of users trust us today. What I think you users and our users would enjoy is by definitely participating in talisman quests for analog. And by this way, we can score double points and many, many other exciting quests and activities we can do all, all along the way. Yeah, we're definitely interested in doing more um, partnerships and campaigns with Talisman. And you mentioned there's an, the NFT support for all EVM chains. Is this something where a user can just go onto the wallet and actually visually see all of their NFT collections? Yes, absolutely. Everything in one place um, from all major chains and we've been like adding support every day on the go but yeah it's, it's a very beautiful interface um you should check it out <laughs> yeah no i definitely will i mean currently the ones that i've been using it's not too easy to use and there's sometimes like my nfts seem to be missing oh so really to, like, as they're not they're not missing on chain but from the dashboard yeah it's missing the connection some, you know, like arbitrum or something i experienced this before but when i go to talisman i see all of them are right there and you can all you can also customize it you can do like list view grid view you can mark your favorites and then you know like sort sort them together um by, by, by the floor price and it's very easy to track and uh i think it will help lots of users like in the future yeah sure i mean talisman is a multi-chain wallet right so in the future are there going to be more connected chains and not just EVM? Let's just say I cannot really uh, say too much, <laughs> but there's a possibility for that, yeah. Because like that I think if, if we say multi-chain, I do think we should support our EVM, look, our major blockchains, not just EVM. But we had conversations about it, but I cannot say too much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. That's no worries. Yeah, so moving on to the Analog and Talisman partnership. How does Talisman take advantage of the tools that Analog brings to the table in regards to interoperability? Yeah, I think the biggest power of Analog is your interoper interoperability tools. Sorry, I can never I can never say this one. <laughs> so I think what I what the beauty about it is because you can literally uh, leverage value and utility from all chains, right? And this will enable uh, communication between any blockchains which solves a big prob problem of like fragmentation in the blockchain ecosystem. So I think for the Talisman users, we can benefit from um, in, in enhanced cross-chain capabilities, access to many different dApps and assets, and uh, improved user experience with one-click 
uh, interactions across um, other blockchains. And analog users can benefit from Talisman's beautiful UI, uh, how easy it is to onboard. Like, we try to abstract all complex concepts of Web3, right? And so it could be easily onboard for like any beginner, or it can be also be very powerful for any experienced advanced user. And there are going to be many more new features coming in Talisman, which I think we will also enjoy. I cannot say much again. But yeah, no, I think our partnership is pretty powerful and we are happy. Uh, we got like pretty big traffic from uh, your testnet activities. And uh, I really hope your users really enjoy Talisman. Yeah, I'm sure they do. I've actually used it myself and the UI and UX is actually it's very, it's very beautiful, very smooth. Yes. Seamless. I'm Seamless, like smooth, yes. I think I might be subjective, but like I've, I've been trying different wallets and I just never found that beautiful, uh, like very static. And, you know, I think many people need to, as soon as we try, we will, we will should stay with Talisman. Well. <laughs> uh, I bet they do though. So you would say like the biggest benefit from Talisman partnering with Analog on the Talisman side would be the interoperability aspect. Oh, yes. Tools, right? Yes. Okay. Because we are like a multi-chain wallet, right? And if, for example, in future we'll add support for more, this will only make sense for us to inc- like integrate all your tools. But again, yeah, I I don't know what the future holds, but there's the biggest yeah. possibility. <laughs> there's plenty of possibilities. I feel yes. Like, especially now. Hopefully, the you know end of summer coming into the rest of the year. And next year will be a lot more green. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, everyone is hoping for that, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Exactly. Fingers okay, crossed. Um, fingers crossed. I mean, you yeah, know, hope for the best. Mm-hmm. And it might just happen. So our final thoughts. These are more, you know, personal, I'd say. Mm-hmm. What is your, your story? So what do you to hop into the blockchain space? And what do you feel of this whole Web3 experience so far? So I had like a different career experiences in my life. And the one thing I didn't really like is my corporate job. I felt like there's like a lot of um, politics and like, you know, like all these games. And I'm like, I'm, I was always like a little bit of free spirit in the way. And I think like Web3 and decentralizations is giving this hope for like better future for people that giving power back to people. I think and many events like in the past, made me like realize and open my eyes how how big guys in tech or government have a significant say in our lives, right? And um I learned about the three during pandemic when you know there was so much free time, stayed home in lockdown and you know, oh wow, like this is something cool and interesting. And I did my first transactions and I was like, oh my God, like wow, like I can literally send money anywhere and no one can tell me anything. <laughs> I don't need to be the man anymore. And like, no, it just it was just like a rabbit hole. I was just like fascinated. Yeah. And then I was like, I just, I was inspired and I started digging more. And then uh, I was also thinking this is a cool industry to be in and like transition and, you know, be part of like this, I don't know, revolution. I don't know, new, new wave of internet, you know, like being in the middle of it, it feels really nice. I mean, I also got in right before, right before COVID. I think was when I first joined this uh, web three space, but as just a retail, like personal use. Mm-hmm. So were there any challenges, like particular challenges of getting in the industry that kind of like shifted your perspective from the outside of like how crypto is usually perceived as maybe, you know, not so great or. <laughs> Definitely there are a lot of challenges. I think it's a very tech focused uh, industry, right? And, I think there's a lot of concepts, you, like a lot of basics you have to understand before you can like can work or like like you know understand what's going on. And the thing is, there's no clear guideline on how to start. Like you don't know how to like get your wallet, how to send it from somewhere else, and then you lose your money. <laughs> like, uh, and a lot of like difficult language as well. And you know, if like if you're not a self starter, or like it can be a very overwhelming journey. And also, this is very uh male dominated space so like i know how many times i've been called like bro sir and like i was like hey i'm like i'm not a bro and but i'm just used to that but like it's just funny how everyone just thinks that like you're a man 
by by default. But I think it's a beautiful industry. I think there's space for everyone. I think we, we like we definitely need more like marketing, more like soft skills people, right? Like I think anyone can bring these skills to this industry if they really want to. But I think we obviously need to start from the basics, like learning what is it, how to do basic mm-hmm. stuff. But yeah. But I like it so far. Yeah, I like I like challenges, so I'm I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good to hear though. I mean, it's always I mean starting something new, I feel it's always like there's a growth arc to it that you need to like- Yes. Yes. No, I, I, I honestly I wouldn't change anything. Like I I like this industry and people and you know, it's very fascinating like how many individuals you meet. And like how many friends you can make actually all over the all over the world, you know? Because yeah. it's all decentralized. So I love it. <laughs> that's amazing. And you should always love what you do. I mean, ideally in the ideal world. Yeah. So that's good. Any advice you would give? For example, someone who wants to like hop into this space, maybe in marketing. Mm-hmm. Since you are like marketing and growth exec. Any advice there? Yeah. I would say like of of course, start from the basics. I think it's all, like I always say, practice, practice, practice comes first, right? Like uh, you can read many things and it can be confusing unless you actually try to do something on chain, right? But of course, you have anyone ha- has to start from like reading original white papers, how Bitcoin started, Ethereum, like learn the technology, like what is Web3, what is blockchain, DAO, all this terminology. I read one really very good book which explains everything like of history of internet revolution is like it's called read write on by Chris dixon and i like because it explains everything from perspective how internet started when it was just static you know and then when we started to have a uh, smart forums and like google and amazon how everything changed back then and it just became web 2 and now it's web 3 and so i think we're still misconceptions that this is just like a scam industry yeah no yeah like so i think some people think like whether just like a scammy you know stuff mm-hmm. and like or like reach kind of like get rich re- get quick rich kind of thing but in reality it's a technology which like which can be used in real life by enterprises governments like people and there's just so much more yeah i would think this book would help to understand how Wait, it what's all the works book? Hmm? What's, the book? what's the book called again we're gonna add it to the caption it's called video. read write on by chris dixon read yeah. write on by chris dixon Got yeah it. yeah uh and yeah and, and i and uh, i think and also probably don't don't be afraid to ask questions like there are so many cool people who would help like would would be happy to help like i started as an ambassador for like polka dot ecosystem and then i've been ambassador for like other projects so i learned how how this whole community building works and blockchain, like what the things you can do, how you can help a project, how to be involved. And then, and I just grew into my new role today. But um, yeah, I think, I think like just be eager, learn, and then, you know, make connections and yeah, it's going to all pay off. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. I mean, it's always, it's always good to, you know, make connections and always, it, there's no wrong, there's no like dumb question. I feel like no, in no. the new space. No, no, no. I think we are still, we are all still learning, you know, like, I think there's like, no one knows like what's going to happen in future. We're all like experimenting. I think it's a big experiment. And yeah, the main thing, like, don't be afraid to ask questions. And yeah. there are so many people who will be happy to help. Is there, <laughs> are there any tools you think that are missing in the space? that pertain to like soft skills not tech i don't know like it's a, it's a good question i don't know like it's hard to say i think like, there should be a balance between like we have like a lot of developers who are obviously working and building right but we need people like us who can transmit this into a simple message you know i think there's a little bit of disconnect sometimes how they understand the information how actually users understand right like for me i wouldn't I don't need all this technical background. I don't, I wouldn't understand that, but like, tell me what it solves for me. Like it should, it should come to you. Like how it solves my, my, my pain, my, my daily life problems, you know, like, like uh, all these big companies like Amazon, uh, I don't know, Google, they don't talk about like what we do in the background. We just tell you, you know, like, this is what it thinks to you. Like your life is becoming easier, but it's all you need to know. But yeah, I think success of every project in in web3 comes from the community 
strong community spirit idea and i think like you should you should build such a strong community that no matter what happens we just stay with you no matter what you know like look at solana like how many times it was down and like many things happen and people are still <laughs> people are still there people yes. are still there and community you know is very important. it is very important but like yeah i feel like communities like equal marketing i i find like they're very correlated and and, and marketing in 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 web3 is different you know it's not very it's not traditional marketing so i think it all comes to bright partnerships building a strong community and uh getting your right message to the to yeah. users exactly <laughs> Mm -hmm. communicating communicating the technical products in a more simple manner yes yes, yes. <laughs> abstract all the different like difficult language and technical yeah. parts yeah okay i mean thank you for your time I, that's all we have for today thank you jamie thank you for having yes. me and mm -hmm. work together in the future as well but thank you for coming on and have a thank great you. rest of your day you too. I'm looking forward to more more collapse between analog and talisman. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> bye.